Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. It is a mid-range smartphone. It comes at around $200 with your carrier. Um, it cost me $189.99. It was on sale at T-Mobile. So uh, let's get into the specs. It has an 840 by 1280 screen resolution. It looks very nice. And there it is. Um, and it has a um, it has a it's powered by the Snapdragon 410 chipset, and uh, it has an Adreno 306, I think, a GPU, and um, it ha and it has a it has an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera, and uh, this is right there, obviously and a two megapixel front facing camera. They take decent pictures, um, but I use the rear facing camera a bit, and um, and that's the bulk of the specs that you'd really care about. Um, it does have come with band four, eight, and 12 LTE. I'm not sure if it comes with two or not. It only comes with 12 if you're on, if you get the T-Mobile variant. So, yeah, so surprisingly, it is very snappy with all the bloatware and the, the skin, heavy skinning that Samsung puts on their devices. Um, it's, yeah, as I said, surprisingly fast, but, you know, it has the T-Mobile app and stuff on it for the T-Mobile variant, has all that stuff. I can't delete a lot of this stuff. I can't delete messages. I wouldn't anyway, or, or uh, phone, well, I wouldn't anyway, or T-Mobile, a lot of these I can't get rid of, like internet, or contacts, and clock, and calculator, and stuff like that, but even with that, it's really snappy, now it has 8 gigabytes of memory, internal storage, you could say, um, 3.5, a, a little over 3.5 gigabytes is taken up by the system apps and stuff android and things in there and i've de deleted a lot of the system apps that come with it now the uh the the display again it's very nice for the price point it has excellent viewing angles and um you know it's just overall a good phone for the price point now if you compare it to like a Samsung Galaxy S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, S7, S7 Edge, it's not going to look, it's going to look terrible probably. Well, not completely terrible. You know, it's not going to look as good. The display, you'll, it'll look not near as good as theirs because theirs is a better QHD with like a Nexus display, like, you know, 1336 by whatever. For, they're really high quality displays on there. This isn't bad at all. It, it's not as good as them. And, um, you know, it just, you know, and it's, uh, you know, I guess for most people, a mediocre display. I guess if you really hunt for them, you might be able to find a pixel, but I don't hunt for them, and I don't have good enough vision for that to matter. So, um, this is what the phone looks like without any, um, casing, any protective layers on it. And, you know, it, it just looks like a standard Samsung phone, nice rounded corners and stuff. A plastic edge that kind of looks like metal, but it's pretty nice. It's plastic. And, uh, here you take off the back cover. This is what it looks like without the back cover on. You know, there's your battery, SIM tray, there's my SIM, micro SD card slot. And, um, and that's what it looks like in there. Now going back to the eight gigabytes of memory, it that it, it's not much to 
GeoS, especially with it over three and a half gigabytes being taken up by Android and the system apps, a lot of it you can't get rid of. Um, you don't have much, so it's, that's where it comes in handy to have your SIM slot. You know, that it's really nice to have it there anyway on any phone. I don't think. Oh, okay, I pressed it down. And so, pros. Um, it has a nice looking display with excellent viewing angles. It has clicky buttons, you know, not loose at all. Build quality's great. Um, it is a fairly lightweight phone. Has LTE. Has a decent camera. Surprisingly, the speaker sounds pretty good. It's not anything outstanding. And uh, the cons, it's nowhere near stock Android. And I kind of like to look at stock Android better than this, but I'm used to this, so it's not anything new to me. It doesn't have a very good choice of wallpapers. You literally have six to choose from. Kind of like iOS, not very many wallpapers to choose from on your home screen. Um, it's really all the cons to this device, besides for people that want a really good display. It's not the best display ever. So, uh, bye, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.